So I thought I'd introduce myself for the ladies who are here for the first time. I am Nakia. Nice to meet you. How you doing? How you doing? So today we are about to do a get ready with me video. I am going to do, um, I'm actually in the process of filming a transition reel. So I want to do a sort of a dramatic eye, but keeping with my, um, my regular routine as far as how I apply my makeup. So, okay, 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 enough talk. Let's get into this video. So, I'm going to, I already primed my face. I primed my face with the stuff that I got from my dermatologist because I don't know whether y'all could tell what a girl's skin has been clearing up. It has been clearing up. And I want to give a shout out to all my clients who didn't come in here and try to make me feel bad and be like, girl, what's going on with your face? Y'all did not do that. And I appreciate y'all. Thank you. And now girl's skin is clearing up due to the products so the products that i was using on my face from the dermatologist so i just didn't want to um, prime my face with other than what they gave me to use and then i put a moisturizer on top of that in a sunscreen yeah so now let's get into this makeup so as you can see i already applied my concealer now i'm doing this foundation look a little bit different because I don't want to put any um, liquid makeup on the parts of my face that I've been having the trouble with because the dermatologist told me to use an oil-free makeup so that's what we're going to do today so I concealed my eyes with the LA girl yeah the LA girl pro concealer and this is so old school but I want to go back to it because it gives me a nice full coverage and this is in medium beige and I'm going to go ahead and just press that into my skin. And I'm going to drag that out all the way to my hairline and down the sides of my nose. And we're going to do that to all the areas that has concealer. And then we'll move on to the next step. So you see how I am blending that concealer out and I'm staying like right in the center of my face. Make sure you wrap it around. Right up underneath your nose and your upper lip. And I want to take this eyeshadow brush because I need to be precise. I don't want it to be like all over the place. And I'm using this eyeshadow brush to kind of blend the concealer that's in the center of my nose. Listen, I came prepared for y'all today because sometimes when I'm doing these lives, my vision be a tad bit impaired because I wear glasses and the day I put on my contacts and all for y'all, I'm like, yo, I want to get ready for the girls. Let me be prepared. So I put on my contacts. And I'm saying contacts in the plural form, but I really only have one contact on. Don't ask me why my, my ophthalmologist did that, but she said it's going to work out just fine because I only needed the help in one eye. One eye 2020, the other one is very questionable. <laughs> Very, very questionable. So she gave me a contact just for that one eye and said it'll work out just fine because your brain knows how to adjust. And by golly, I think she's telling the truth. Because it does, it works out just well, just fine. And I'm switching the makeup brushes in between because one of them oh and it was the, this was the one that had a little bit more concealer on it than the other one and the other one i was just using to do clean up just that quick you could be all off your situation just that quick let me fix this because i was just using one brush to clean up one to um to blend 
and it got a little messy over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm almost back where I want to be. Ask me why I have a lot of makeup brushes to clean up weekly. This is why. Because I'm always using a different brush for everything. Right? So, now I want to put a little bit of concealer over my eyelid. Because this is not going to be a shadow look. But it's going to look like I got shadow on. I'm using the wing to add the dimension and the drama to my eyes. I know the medication that they got me putting on my face, it does a lot of peeling to my skin. And I'm noticing a lot of peeling on my eyelid. At first, my eyelid was feeling like really sticky. I'm like, well, what in the devil is going on here? And I would wipe it, but then by the next day, I noticed that it had like a little creasing and peeling going on. So I guess that's what it's supposed to do. So that concealer, which was by e.l.f., is going to act as my base for my eyes. So now I'm going to add my um, oil-free foundation. And I'm using a different foundation today just because I want to switch it up. I just want to switch up some things, period. Because sometimes life can be a little bit mundane. You know, I'm not complaining at all, but... Sometimes you need to throw in a little something, something to kind of, you know, make it not seem so repetitive every single day. So this is what I'm throwing in today. I'm using this Makeup Forever HD Matte Skin Foundation. Yep. HD Matte Velvet Foundation as my, um, as my oil-free foundation today. And I'm going right up underneath the concealer before I start to overlap it. Now, I'll overlap it just a little. I'm not going to go too high because I still want to see the brightness up underneath my eyes. Um, well, you can see right now where I overlap the foundation with the concealer. I'm going to do it on this side and bring it up just a bit to overlap that foundation, that overlap the concealer. Okay, so this is it. So I've applied foundation everywhere except in the areas where the concealer, the concealer was. So now I'm going to take my little powder puff and I'm going to set up underneath my eyes. And today I am using the Fit Me by Maybelline Loose Finishing Powder in the color Medium Deep. That is number 30. Listen, it's all about the details. I want to give you girls the numbers because sometimes I get on here and I just do my makeup. But yeah, that's what I'm using right now. And I'm going to take this powder puff and set up underneath my eyes. So now I'm going to carve out my eyebrows, but I am not going to apply a product on my eyebrows. I'm just going to carve them out with a little bit of foundation just to give them a little shape because I just don't want to shape them in. I don't want them dark. I don't know. I'm just kind of scaling back on the darkness um, on my face. The older I get, things have changed and I just don't want like my eyebrows to be like Boom, like the center of attention on my makeup look. I kind of want to bring forward all the other natural, um, beautiful parts of my face. I just don't want my eyebrows to be the centerpiece of my makeup look anymore. So I got a little bit of foundation on the back of my hand. And I'm just kind of cleaning up my brows a little bit. And I have not arched them in like maybe, maybe a week. So the hairs are growing back and it is so very deliberate. I'm not arching them so that I can get a fuller brow and then not do nothing to it. <laughs> mm. 
Okay, so that is it for the brows. Now I'm going to take my, my Makeup Forever foundation and I'm going to overlap up underneath my eyes just a little bit. Right now I'm using like a, um, what you call those, the magnifying mirrors. And oh my God. <clears throat> this thing is really like, I can see like every single imperfection going on in my face with this magnifying mirrors. mirror. Just a little overlap on that. So now I'm going to add, the, what did the, okay, so now I got foundation in my hair, but, okay, so let's put this wing on, and I want it to be a really dramatic wing, so I'm going to do one on camera, and then I'll do the other one off camera, because I know this is going to take a few minutes. Ooh, not that one. Ooh, that wing is like really long. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, so we got these wing set. Mm -hmm. and cleaned up and now we're going to apply our lashes I'm not going to put a lot of lash glue because I don't plan on keeping these lashes on all day so I'm just going to add a small amount of the duo lash glue right here on my lash line and 
And luckily I have a pair of lashes that I have already worn. So they're already cut to the length of my eyes. Cause I'm pretty sure by now you ladies know that those lashes, when they come right out the pack, they have to be measured and cut to your eye length. Me personally, I don't like my lashes to be too far in the corner on my eyes because that's so irritating to me. I don't know why I just did that. That's a force of habit, but I don't have any glue on the actual lash. Okay, that is cute. I don't know. I've been doing this for a long time, but when um when the look really comes together, I'm still like, ooh, I like that. I'm still in that mode. Cute. So for my under eye. Because this is about to be for my transition video too, I'm thinking I probably should do like a, mm -mm, I'm stuck between wanting a nude under eye and just a popping lip or an under eye that's like kind of like smoked out. So I'm going with the nude under eye. Okay, so I'm gonna use this powder puff to pull my eyelid down because I do not want to have oils on my foundation. A lot of people use white up underneath here. I've done that before on clients. Or you can use a nude and it kind of just opens up your eye. And it's so cute. Oh, that is too cute. Okay, I like that. So when doing a nude under eye, make sure you use a really creamy pencil or it's not gonna come out right. It's gonna look super chalky and you're not gonna really see, see how it looks. Cause it's gonna be too chalky and not cute. Let's add a little blush to this makeup look. So I'm not gonna go into the pink blushes because Seem like everything that I'm doing is coming to like an earth tone. And I'm gonna use the charming in the making you're making me blush palette. So I didn't want to do the pinks and all that right now. So so charming is gonna give me like a little peachy. Still in that earth tone family, not with the pinks. Okay. And make sure you bring your blush all the way up to your hairline. All right, let's put these lips on. So for my lips, I am using trench coat to do my outline.
And I'm going to use Candid from the Ease Drop Palette, from the Ease Drop Lip Kit. And right in the middle of this, I'm going to use, this is a concealer. This is from the Shape Shade collection of concealers. And this is the lightest one in the collection, this beige. See how super light this is? Super light. And I'm going to pop this right in the center of this lip. my lip line just a bit Yeah, I'm feeling that. That's super cool. Okay. Ooh, I am feeling that. I love the way these lips look. Wait a minute, girl. I love the way these lips look. So cute. Yeah, it is definitely coming together. I can wear this look on this. So let's add a little bit of um, little razzle dazzle on here. So we're gonna add a little highlight. And this highlight is, it is called Fairly Precious Extra Dimension Blush. Hmm. It looks more um, on the highlight family than it does on the blush family to me. And this is by MAC. You see? That's definitely giving more highlight to me than blush. Ooh, 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 ooh. Super cute. Okay, so I am finished with this look. I added the, um, what's the stuff called again? Let's see, one more time. The Fairly Precious Extra Dimension Blush by MAC that I said looks more like a highlight, and it is. They should have called it Extra Dimension Highlight. And I added it, my cheeks, a little bit on my nose, and in the corner of my eyes to complete this makeup look, and it gave it a lot of little cute look. Ooh. Ooh, little razzle dazzle going on and that is it for this makeup look i hope you ladies enjoyed this video i'm gonna finish this off right quick with the nakia beauty setting spray that is so bomb if you haven't gotten it get it and let that all just melt in there Oh, I'm feeling so good. I'm feeling so good. I'm feeling so good about this makeup look. I'm feeling so good. That girl's skin is getting better. Yeah. So this is it. I hope you ladies enjoyed this video. You know, rewind it, share it. I got to look all of them. Rewind it, share it with a friend. And that is it until we see each other again.
on the next video. Talk to you soon.